Welcome to Made in Alberta. I'm Barb Allard. Cars and trucks are responsible for 19% of Canada's total greenhouse gas emissions. Our manufacturing sector emits another 16%. If you choose to drive a fuel-efficient car, it's a small step towards making transportation more sustainable. But with its life cycle design and engineering, the smart car represents a major shift in attitude towards sustainable manufacturing. Environmentally conscious manufacturing starts in the design stage by figuring out how to reduce the ecological impact of the product through its entire life. It includes using the most non-toxic materials and processes available, minimizing energy consumption, recapturing any toxic emissions, and conserving materials. Vanessa Higgins did the research and found a car that fit her budget, satisfied her desire to be environmentally conscious, and looks after her safety. The car I have is a smart car. It is a two-door coupe CDI and there's three ranges and I have the mid-range called the Pulse. When I was first looking at smart cars, I was really concerned about the safety. They're a small vehicle and to see them on the road, I thought, what are they gonna be like beside a semi-truck? But when I finally did some research and looked into it, they're actually one of the top rated cars for safety. They're built with a really strong safety carriage. They have ESP, so basically if it's icy out, your car's gonna react even before you do. And then this is also another safety feature is if you are in a rear collision uh, and someone hits you from behind, the engine will drop out Whoa. so that it won't cause you any harm. And you've got steel-backed seats. The smart car also considers recycling in its life cycle environmental design. Not only does it use some recycled materials in its construction, but its components can be easily disassembled and recycled at the end of its useful life. Vanessa's smart car also marries her environmental and personal concerns by giving her some of the best fuel mileage available. I have to fill up my tank about every 330 kilometers, so that's about once a week because I commute to Sherwood Park. And um, the tank is, you know, 22 liters, so if you do the math that way, then you're getting pretty good fuel mileage. I can put a hockey bag, I can put suitcases, I can go on a camping trip and it hasn't failed me yet. It's very spacious inside. When you get outside and look at it, you wonder how you fit. But no, people over six feet fit very comfortably. And even on long rides, it's still a very comfortable ride. Although it's not the complete answer to our environmental problems with transportation, the smart car does offer lots to smile about. I get a lot of smiles and people waving. Uh, some people, usually children, like to point and laugh but <laughs> I know it's just because they're jealous. <laughs> Major gains in sustainable transportation come with better urban planning, which allows for more non-motorized and public transportation. Join us again in Getting Around as we investigate how this is happening in Alberta's cities. <laughs>